back youtube it's been a little while since i've posted a video i'm fitting to have hand surgery again so i haven't been doing a lot of wrench turning this is a personally owned vehicle mine 2010 cadillac srx i'm going to be replacing the computer in it today i'm having a theft control module issue so i'm going to get started and then i'm going to walk you through the programming using my j2534 adapter by top don on how to reprogram the theft control module. It's very easy to do. It's worth buying the tool. If you uh, do a little bit of this on your own, it's only a couple hundred dollars. $44 to get the GM coding software through AC Delco. The subscription's good for one year or for its equivalent to however many modules are on the vehicle. So, you know, let's say this has 15 modules. I can do 15 different programs over one year, whatever comes first. So first thing I'm gonna do, disconnect the battery, disconnect the computer, pull this one out, pop the new one in, hook the battery back up, and I'll take you inside, you know, and show you the program. I got this ECU right here. It came from Flashmasters. They have they're about half the price of anywhere else. Good, you know, good customer service. On eBay's where I got it from, they have like 70 some thousand sold with like a 97 or 98% feedback rating. So, you know, they have great customer service. You go through, read their, their reviews and people that had issues with it. You know, they took care of any problems. So once this is removed, there's two tabs, you just push them down and this top lid will fold off. All right, so we got that right there. And then same thing with here, there's two tabs, you pull them. Let me set this to the side, I don't wanna mix them up. Just put it back together the same way you took it apart. Pop this baby in there. Put this cover back on so it hinges on all right it's all clipped let me go ahead and connect these connectors then i'll reinstall the battery and then we'll take you into the car and do the program the programming if all goes well 20 minutes or less you know it's fairly easy to do Lock all those, put my battery back on. All right, so the change of the computer on these is really easy and the programming's just as easy. So do not overpay to have a dealership do this for you. This right here, buying the computer and if you have to buy the J-Link connector will still be cheaper than taking it to a dealership. All right, so before we get started, I want to take the key fob out of any case you have because the key fob needs to go into the center console when it tells you to. If you have a key, the process is the same. It will just tell you to put it in the ignition or whatever. So the first thing you want to do is you go to, well, the first thing you're going to have to do is download the Top Dawn, Top Dawn software, which I already have. So you go to our link. And then it's going to ask you, do you want it to be able to change your settings? You're going to have to hit yes. So let me get this thing plugged into my OBD2 port and plugged into the laptop and we'll get started. All ready to get going. So it might be hard to see with the glare. I'm sorry, but I'll show you how to do it. So we go yes. All right. So now it opened up. You can see right here it says it's connected. So let me minimize this right quick connected connected the car has 15.43 volts so you'll have driver well this is your device telling you firmware's up to date this is driver well the management so this is where you actually download different drivers so you got using docs tells you how to use it oem links driver 
info and driver downloads. So I've already got the GM ones downloaded. So what we're gonna do is click on GM. You have the R link is the is what we're using. So you go to right here to GM OM software website. It's gonna give you several warnings telling you don't use counterfeit stuff. Right here it gives you the option to buy. I was actually wrong earlier. It's a two year or equivalent to however many modules you have. So if you need to buy it, you'd go there. It's $45. I think it was only 44 when I got it. But either way, $45, you add to cart, you buy it. And once you get, I already have the software, so I'm gonna get logged in right quick. Just sent me a verification code, so give me just a second, it's on my phone. So after you do the verification code, you click, well you have to actually scroll down, click that you've read it, you know. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I already there, but you'll wanna, if you're not there, you'll wanna click on subscriptions after you're logged in. And you'll come down here and be in that, this would be where you buy it from, but I already have it. So I can go right here, it says zero available, one active, 24 months for one vehicle. You know, you can add multiple VINs. So you'll click on the VIN And then what you want to do is switch this to admin and then it hit launch. It sometimes takes a minute or two to connect, but once it connects, you'll be into the programming part of it. So we're waiting on another window to open up. Once that window opens up, we'll be able to get started on the programming. Right here is checking for any updates. And then once this actually starts working, we'll be able to use it. All right, so right here, we're actually into the program, being that I've used this before on this vehicle. You select the VIN, if not, you enter a new VIN, go down here, hit select. It's gonna connect to the vehicle. You'll want to make sure you have the R link because that's what you're using. And then for me, it's going not it's not going to be reprogram, it's going to be replace and reprogram. So right here you'll select well, you'll want to go to if you're not already there, you'll want to go to SPS right here on the side. And then over here you'll change program to replace and reprogram. So we'll go there. And then you'll go down here to the corner, hit next, let it load. And then you have a whole bunch of different things. Like you can reprogram, like if they need updates, anything like that. So you bought body control, EC, you know, the brake module, the parking brake module, or, you know, engine control, transmission, you know, fuel pump. GM requires practically every module to be reprogrammed. So if you're going to replace anything, you're going to have to pretty much do all the reprogramming. So I am doing the mobilizer relearn. So what we're going to do is click on the mobilizer relearn. Hit next over here. And then it'll tell you blah, 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 you know, whatever prompt. So what you want to do is skip any of them that say anything about the body control module. And you wanna go down there to engine control modular power inverter IMMO relearn. So you click on that. You go to next. And then it's gonna start checking everything, getting it ready to update. You're gonna go through several prompts. It'll tell you to turn this on, turn this off you know, and so on and so on. And once you're done with this, you're gonna have to also reprogram, you know, some of your uh, sensors. So your crankshaft position sensors are gonna have to be relearned once you're done with this.
You can actually do the relearn in here. If you have a better tool, you can also do the relearn. So right here, it's select the module you want to reprogram. You'll hit next. So check the ignition is on and press next. Mine is on. Insert the key in the center console. This is where I told you you want to make sure any covers are off of it because you want to make sure you get a good reading being that you're doing with your computer. So hit next. Turn the power off. So it's telling you where it is currently. So it's on accessories. Now it's off. Just keep following whatever steps it has. It should be like 12 seconds or something like that next. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, but. So right now it's entering like the programming mode. I got a lot of lights flashing on the dash. So we're at 10 minutes. So obviously we just got to wait and I will be back as soon as this 10 minutes is up. All right, so it's coming up to a wrap right now. You'll see five seconds left, and then we're going to have multiple more, you know, more steps to follow. All right, so it's coming up three, two, one, and now there's going to be more things to do. So the key just turned off, says the remotes are getting ready to program. Please press the start and stop button once and hit next. Press and hold for 12 seconds, then it will give you a countdown. Release, hit next, wait again, press until it's in the run mode. All right, so you hold it, it'll do a countdown again. Turn the power off. So right here it's telling you it's in run still. There we go. So now we wait 30 more seconds. All transponders have synced. Press the start stop button and start the engine. Press the start stop and stop the engine. All right, so remove the key fob and it'll be lock, unlock, Hit next. Do you have any more? No, not at this time. Immobilizer is complete. Please check the engine starts with all transponders. So it started right up, hit next. Relearn successful. So hit finish. Hit finish. And then the programming's complete. So proceed with same VIN and control mod.
There we go. We got oil life and crankshaft relearn. So you hit next. Block the drive, set the parking brake, apply parking brake, cycle from off to on, start engine idle, turn off air, vehicle must remain in park or neutral. So cycle engine off to on. Idle, turn AC off, which it is off, and then put it in park or neutral. All right, so the vehicle's not hot enough yet, so you can see right there it actually needs to reach 158 degrees, and we're at 107. So I'll be back as soon as it hits the proper temperature. All right, now that it reached the proper temperature, it's going to tell you full throttle till you hear the governor kick in, and then your program will be done. Learn process is complete. And so I'm going to change my oil life to 90%. I don't ever go off these my anyways. It was recently changed. And now the ECM has successfully been reset. You can see up here I have no codes other than obviously open hood. But everything is done. That's how you reprogram any GM modular with the top don. So I'll go to finish. And then there's the claims ticket again. And I am done. So.